You ready to share? Let's go. I'm with a really good friend here, Gentry Kelly. The name should sound really familiar to you because if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I've not only featured Gentry, but also I use her product a lot. And so a lot of you have asked, well, whose brushes are those? Or where'd you get this? And so I, I link to you and it's been wonderful to see this amazing woman and her business grow and flourish. And I love when female businesses just take off and yours has like, mushroomed. But the reason why we're together is sort of a, and we were just talking about this, kind of a serendipitous conversation that took place. I reached out to you about something and then you said, I have an idea. It's so funny. We were just talking about you literally just moments before you texted. It doesn't, it's funny how life happens like that. Yeah. And you, know, you think of somebody and they pop back into your life. So sure. really glad that you reached out and glad that we came up with this amazing idea together. And I yeah. think it's going to do great. Yeah. So, okay. The idea is, and, and I'd always thought, you know, I've had people ask me, well, what do you, do you have like future plans or do you want to make product or do whatever? And I, and I was never really certain about all of that, but I always had this vision of two lipsticks and I always wanted them to be called bold and blessed because of my tagline. Perfect and branding for you. Yeah. Right. And then I even thought about what those colors would be. And so you then said to me, you know, we want to do a collaboration and do lipsticks. And we even talked about the name and you said, no, I want it to be Dominique, be bold and Dominique, be blessed. And you were like, that's, that's perfect. It. That's it. That's <laughs> perfect. perfect. So that was the impetus for all of this. And then came this really amazing, fun, girly, beautiful stuff that happened because now we started to play around with colors and figure out, well, what's going to represent that? Mm -hmm. So kind of, you know, walk us through that and what we did. Yeah, well, you wanted something that you would actually wear yourself. I mean, it's hard to represent something if it's not you, mm -hmm. right? And everybody knows you for your nude lipsticks, yeah. wearable nudes from other brands that you've worn before. Um, and then we talked about how a new lipstick can't really be worn alone, but a lot mm -hmm. of people can't pick out the colors themselves by looking online. Right. So we worked together to find, you know, a liner and lip gloss already in the line to partner with the perfect shade of nude for you. So that way it was one click and easy to buy for clients to put the whole look together. Mm -hmm. um, so they could have that nude wearable color like you do without looking washed out. Yes. But then you said to me, well, I don't always wear nude. I need something when I want to pop at yep. night when I'm wearing more of a bold color. So that's how Be Bold <laughs> came to be as well. Right. And you know, at first you said a red and we were thinking, mm -hmm. yeah, red is good, but so many women are scared of red. You yes. know, wearing red comes with a lot of confidence. It comes with, you know, a woman who, who likes a statement piece, but not every woman feels like they can wear something that bright. So I think we really nailed it with like, kind of like the raspberry, you know, I don't want to say grapey because it doesn't have that much purple, but it definitely doesn't have any warm tones to it. And it's not so bright that women mm -hmm. feel like they can't wear it, right? Yes, a total wearable pop of color. When you're wearing something bright, maybe the nude doesn't look quite as good. Yeah. So you have something for the day or for the night or whatever your personality is. Yeah. And I like that we came up with the idea that you can buy it separately. Maybe you're not a gloss gal. Maybe you don't yeah. like lip liner and you know you're not going to use it. You can buy the individual lipsticks alone, you know, or you could just do the whole set and then have the full look too. Yeah. So I like that people have the options too and it is so you, both colors. Fair. And I think we branded it perfectly and I don't think we could have done a better job with what we came up with together. I know. It was really a fun collaboration and we were trying on just different shades and I, I think my lips were Wrong. bleeding. <laughs> wipe dry. Wipe dry. I think it was our whole pack of baby wipes. I know, I know. <laughs> trying on the different colors. So it, but it was so fun and you're right. And so I'm wearing Dominique Be Blessed and you're wearing Dominique Be Bold. And we had different people with different skin tones yep. trying on the exact same lipstick and what blew my mind was how different one shade looked on four different people. But wearable in all the skin tones. But that was the key. And when we hired the models for the photo shoot, we purposely chose someone who was on the light side of the spectrum and then yes. the darker skin tones because we wanted people to see, because that's like the biggest complaint. People say, like, I can't see what it looks like on my skin tone mm -hmm. online. So we wanted to be able to have that range and then, you know, you being more of a mid-tone range, yep. me being on more of the fair side, and then we have the two models too, um, different ethnicities, and it really does look good on everyone. Yes. And it's hard to find a color that looks good on everyone. Either it's really, really washed out on darker skin tones are too bold on light mm -hmm. and they're so versatile and I love that about the colors that we chose. Me too and, and I think for the nude it's really important to emphasize and as women get older we lose pigmentation mm -hmm. in our skin, our lips lose color and a nude can, I, you know, I it's like a death nude if you're not careful. I, mean, I call it the rigor mortis look. It is. Put you in the casket. Put you in the casket. It's like six feet under. No, <laughs> no one's wearing it. So the nude had to have enough 
warmth, enough a little bit of pink, enough a little bit of peach, just the right amount to give some color and not dull the skin. And it's like you said with the bold color, not too over the top, but enough to give a pop mm -hmm. and to go with different skin tones. So I will have you hold the okay. one that you're wearing and then yes. we'll show the combos of what we wear them with. Right. So you'll start with yours. This is yes. the Be Blessed. And you can see it's kind of like a creamy caramel mm -hmm. suede with more of like the peachy warm mm -hmm. tone to it. And the mistake that a lot of people make is they say, oh, I just want something simple. I just want, you know, one step and I want a nude. You can't really wear nude all by itself. Mm -hmm. You need that definition around the edge, which you don't want to go so dark that it looks like you have, you know, eyeliner around right, the edge right. of your lips. So that's the nice thing about Sedona Clay, which is yep. what you see here. I'll put some on the back of my hand just yep. so we can see the color. And then we'll put the lipstick right mm -hmm. next to it. You can see how it defines the nude, but it's not, you know, yep. it's a super great, drawn on looking. Yeah, and, and you know, I love very natural skin toned lip liners mm -hmm. that blend into the skin and then to take it and smudge and give a nice soft blur to it. But you don't need to even get your finger dirty on this one. This has a little smudger on the end of it. So what you can yeah. do is you can line the lips, go back and smudge it out. So that way when the lipstick wears off, you don't just have the line around mm -hmm. your lips. It's nice to be able to get that ombre with this. And if you click one more time, you have a sharpener in here as well. But it is a scroll up pencil, right? You don't have to sharpen it. It scrolls up, it scrolls down. Yep. But some people like that really fine point and that's what they complain about automatic pencils is you can't sharpen them. Well, this one fits the needs of everyone. You don't have to sharpen if you don't want to. I don't like sharpening because I don't like mine too defined. But yes. if you are one of those people that wants to get a really nice defined cupid's bow, you can do that with a little sharpener. I love that. Side. That is such a versatile lip liner. Since we are doing layers, right? And, and some women just want a lipstick. Others like me need a little bit of a gloss. You know how I love a gold? And you mm -hmm. were like, oh. Makes your lips look so plump without having to get lip injections. It's great. Exactly. <laughs> it's natural. And you put it right in the middle of your lip. And so we chose this color. So it's called My Two Cents because it has kind of a coppery tone. So that's yep. what it looks like alone. But when you wear it over the lipstick, just right in the pout, it gives mm -hmm. such a nice three-dimensional look without looking like, you know, frost or glitter. It's very, yep. very subtle, very sheer. I love it. Then we have the Be Bold, which is the one that I'm wearing. Yes. Look at that lovely Look raspberry. And can I also say, people are going to ask, what's the um, texture of these lipsticks? They're creamy. So they're not a drying matte, but they're not, they're really rich in pigmentation. And, and that's not easy to make, by the way. <laughs> well, we went over that too, because I was suggesting in the beginning, I was like, you know, matte lipsticks are the fad right now. Yeah. And she's like, yep, I know my clientele though, they're or not, not a client of my them. followers. She's like, they are going to want more moisture in their lips. So yeah. that's what we decided to go with. So this one is part of the lucid luster category, mm -hmm. which means it's got the tiniest little bit of mica metallic shimmer, not too frosted, because mm -hmm. I think that can look outdated when there's too much frost. Yep. And then that one's from the long wear category, which has a little bit of moisture, but not so much. Much. So a lot of people don't know this, but the more moisture you have in your lipstick, the faster you eat it off. It's true. And it comes off in, within an hour or two. Yep. If you have it a little bit more on the matte side, but still put some oil in there for hydration, you don't feel like you have dried saran wrap on your lips, but it's not going to bleed into your face um, like a lot of people complain about. Um, and it stays on for like five to six hours instead. Yes. And yeah. the liner really does help to keep it on too. So that's why I like to fill my lips in, mm -hmm. shade it out like you were saying, yep. and then put the lipstick on and you'll get an extra hour or two out of it by doing that. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. And then the gloss with this one, I remember at first you were a little bit hesitant on this one. You were like, I don't know. I know it's so like sparkly, this. but then you put it on. And it was totally different. <laughs> and it, it, again, it's just amazing how it layers. So it's funny in the packaging, it looks like there's chunks of glitter, but you can see once it's on the lips, it doesn't look that way. Yep. Um, it just gives the light little bit of pearlescent as well but a really, really creamy, creamy texture to it. So you can see on my hand. Yeah. And it's some wonderful for evening and for holiday coming up. It could not be more perfect. And you can do that lipstick as a standalone, but if you want like just a little bit of that luster and that gloss to it. This is what I wear for the weekend. Yeah. It's fantastic. When you don't want to wear a lipstick and you just do like my cute and carpool look, which is my you know five minute makeover, yeah. I just throw that on, no lipstick, no liner. Yep. And it gives me just a tint like I ate a red popsicle. Exactly. And yep. you get some color to your lips. Yep. And it's hydrating. I think this is just something that every woman can wear. And I, I agree. I'm thrilled to launch. <laughs> today. <laughs> the next question is, what do these cost? And since they're sold individually and as a bundle, 
we've packaged them as such. Yes, so we have the lipstick that is $27. If you're not a gloss or liner gal or you think you have some colors that are close to that, yep. you can buy the lipsticks by themselves for $27 each mm -hmm. or get the whole bundle for $77. So we'll be providing links on your page that will take you to the part of the website that has them sold individually or as bundles so you can get one, all <laughs> gifts. Yes, Christmas, <laughs> all of that. So again, we'll have links in the description portion of the video and anywhere you see this on social media in my link tree, you'll be able to find it as well, but we'll make it very easy for you to get access to Dominique Be Bold and Dominique Be Blessed and of course, all of the accompaniments that go with it. And so I'm so happy that we found the right shades that I feel are very reflective and representative of not only what I like, but what I think my audience would like. And I kept thinking about, you know, her. Yeah. What's she gonna want? Who doesn't want a lipstick named after themselves too? <gasps> well, that's exciting too, but, but not even just me, but it's just my belief system yeah. and what I encourage women to be, to be bold and to be blessed. And that to me is everything. And my heart is just like bubbling over with gratitude for this. Well, we're so excited and finally the day is here, you know, developing these lipsticks and packaging everything up is a lot more time consuming than, than people think. But yeah. the day is finally here. I'm so happy to be able to offer this before the holidays. I know, it's such a perfect gift giving idea too, since it is so wearable I know. by so many skin tones. So it doesn't matter who you're buying for, it's exactly. the age or the skin tone, it really does work for everybody. Yeah, because you know how Christmas shopping goes. It's like one yep. for you and one for me. <laughs> That's how I roll. <laughs> That's how I roll, right? <laughs> ah, happy holidays. <laughs>